All right. Well, thanks uh, for having us. I'm Alicia McCoy, founder of Peak Mind. My vision is to see corporate America make a huge shift in cultural values for the betterment of mankind. Um, to begin, to see workers as humans, allowing space for their mental well being in the workplace. We have a technology that automates better communication between humans in the office. Once we get to know each other as humans, which is our step one, our artificial intelligence takes place from there, bridging workers throughout our copyrighted well being solutions. Hello, my name is Leslie Sellers. I am the Chief of Staff for Peak Mind. Um, Peak Mind is a mental well being platform that reduces stress in the workplace by providing easy and effective solutions. Uh, we are currently in our development stages and looking to move quickly, especially with the pandem pandemic, to help others that are struggling. Uh, mental wellness plays a huge part in our everyday lives. Peak Mind will offer over 250 solutions to help employees with things like staying engaged, um, being more productive, and to help with their overall work environment. <laughs> um, I personally come from a large brokerage firm in Chicago. I worked downtown for over 15 years. Uh, I moved to Indianapolis three years ago, and when I decided to go back to work, I knew it was not going to be in the same environment. So I was set out to find some sort of position that would fulfill my passion, and that passion is to help people. Um, a mutual friend of mine told me that I should call Alicia. Um, once she told me about what the product that she was building, I was 100% on board. Um, being a manager in the corporate world, I have seen the need for this product product my entire career. Um, with that being said, I'll pass it back over to Alicia. As well, I'm a business owner. I've been in the business corporate world um, ever since I was in college. Um, and I've been a business owner for going on 16 years. And so this is not my first rodeo. Um, this is not my second company. Um, but this is uh, going to be the largest one for sure and this will be my legacy company. Um, our solutions, um, we show some here, they vary from mindfulness to improve how we think and perceive situations, to yoga and movement and how it affects the body's productivity during the workday and on. We currently have 87 custom copyright written solutions and we'll have 250 by this time next year. Our platform will automatically aim to lower stress through um, the input, which is personality profiles, cultural surveys, and based on their department stress factors. Our artificial intelligence will take all of that and aggregate um, a solution, custom solutions for each person. Over, as we all know, we're in a pandemic, um, and I thought, you know, what better than to just talk about the product, but to talk about mental well being as it stands today. And I figured as we get ready to get back to the workplace, um, those of you that have staff members, I figured here I could give you a couple tips to maybe start thinking about to get that will consider the mental well being of your, um, your staff members. And I love this quote that I found a couple weeks ago, that over the next few months, we anticipate a rise in reported anxiety, depression, and potential substance abuse. And we further expect that mental health issues will have an impact on other health conditions. And we just, we can't wait for the side effects to begin occurring. So our solution when it comes to market in June is an enterprise um, software as a service, a SaaS, MVP platform, and we're taking signups currently. These are the onboarding steps that you'll choose to, you'll see if you choose to invest in your culture's mental well-being. This is the first look. You guys are first to see um, our product dashboard. It's uh, coming together. It's still in development, but this is the first visual. This is what each staff member will see when they log into their dashboard. It allows them to have a unique well-being journey of their solutions, their cultural survey questions and reports within their department. As we count down the days to get back to work, here are a few complimentary solutions that aim to help to the transition back that you may not have already heard. I know there's tons of health agencies and governments that have shared mostly the physical health concerns, but here's how to support your team's mental well-being. The first thing we hear all the time from the over 400 users that we've interviewed over the last five years while in research is that most people say that we don't talk enough in the workplace. So get ready to talk openly and honestly with your staff. Um, an example that workers have responded posit positively to is you can say something like, in this time, with the layoffs we have done, we can withstand six months before we have to consider any more layoffs. If we all do our part, we can overcome this. 
that's a great management statement that will ensure that your employees know that you're being open and honest. And talk about the safety measures and acknowledge that fear is natural in this type of crisis. Hearing that from their leaders will ensure a sense of psychological safety, which is super important. And sharing is caring. Start to find resources that will align, that you align with, that will help your peers feel comfortable and get ready to share them and share them in different ways. There's so many articles and podcasts and LinkedIn posts that you can find about what the new cultures are gonna look like and what mental well being issues there are today. Start thinking about um, what the new balance is gonna look like. Do you need to transition into an office into a childcare room? It's a little bit different than what we hear, have it here at Nexus, but that's an opportunity that a lot of corporations could take. And what are the balance of hours? What are you gonna have? There's gonna be lots of distractions from childcare to e-learning occurring over the next several weeks. And for this, we are all um, allow for this and we are all balancing life to the best of our abilities. Listen, just listen to them. This is probably the number two thing that we hear from users. They just want their manager to, to be an ear because everybody's experiences are different. We're all in the same storm riding crazy waves, but we're not all in the same boat. I found that quote this week as well. Um, number five, grief. Grief of loved ones, grief of normalcy, grief of stability, the list goes on. This is the mental well being concern that most of us are not comfortable dealing with, but there are experts in grief that can help, and I'll share some below. And six, be nimble flexible. Um, you never know what's going to come um, as we get back to a new normal. A lot of people haven't been able to go to the doctor's office, for example, and this, they may get an unexpected call that an opening is happening tomorrow at their doctor's office, and we want them to visit their doctor because health insurance costs may skyrocket after this crisis because of the non-compliance of medical issues during the lockdown. Also, some workers will not want to leave the work from home routine, and some people are ready to come back skipping so work with your team to find balance between the ones that still want to work from home and the ones that want to come back to the office. Um, let, um, let's team up and make an impact. Um, Peak is here. We're ready to help people through these um, next steps. So if anybody needs to reach out to us, let us know. Um, we read another quote that says, there's tons of data out there um, that show we have problems, but let's start taking action steps to improve them. Here's our website and phone number and email if anybody wants to get a hold of us. We have, we're a mental well-being platform that has the power to boost potential. We will increase productivity and improve lives. We will help to give control to what has felt uncontrollable. And now you all have a single source for total mental well-being. Here's a great website that the state just put out, bewellindiana.com. It's one of the best resources that I've come across in the last month. And it's Let's see, you can see everything from the 211 crisis line to anything about addictions, uh, mental well being, childcare resources, even the mortgage um, forgiveness program. Is, they have a link on there. And then down below, um, you can see the LinkedIn Liesel Miertis, her um, handle with care. She talks about empathy in the workplace. She is an expert in grief. She will custom, if you don't understand how to convey a grief message and a caring message to your staff, she can work with you to custom create something that sounds like something that you would say um, that takes care of their mental well being and provides them opportunities to grieve through the process. And lastly, while you are physically distanced, make sure you are not emotionally distancing. Any questions or thoughts on that? And I'll go ahead and make mention, you guys can either type the questions there in the, the comment section, um, or if you want to physically raise your hand, I think I can see everyone here, or just unmute yourself and start talking. That's fine too. I'd like to know when you started, and are, is this, uh, don't have to be overly technical, but are, are you bootstrapped or, you know, invest, uh, you know, are you uh, looking for investors or where are you at and in, in, in your, in your, you know, basically your, your business model and financial model? Sure. Well, I can answer the first part. Um, well, both parts. I was going to throw it to Leslie, but uh, I can, yeah, she's actually <laughs> saying no. <laughs> we, um, I've been in research and development for the last five and a half years. Um, and 
over the last six months, I just said, I have to get this out of my head and into production. And so I just said, I can't think about it anymore. I can't research it anymore. Um, there's a need and we just have to throw it out there, get it in development and we'll pivot from there. And so our development team is close to, um, I think next week while our graphics, our UI UX process will be done and then our backend developers will begin, um, I think they just told me May 4th, they'll start on their journey and 200 hours later, um, we'll have an MVP that we'll send out to our goal, MVP goal is 12 companies of 100 employees or more. However, it'll probably be a little bit more broad than that, but that's our test MVP market. And it has been bootstrapped so far. Um, I've been blessed as a, as a business owner um, to, instead of pay myself for the last several years, I have just invested all my salary into this company. So everything um, to date has been paid for by myself. However, we are currently raising funds and I actually have a call tomorrow um, and we're raising right now a million and five because we are trying to, this is a global product that it's not only for Indiana, we're trying to make sure that this can go out across the world. Thank you, I love entrepreneurs. Yes, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Could, could you take me through the process uh, when this is available? Uh, what will it look like exactly? Will a, will a company need to have a representative from you all to come in and, and present this or facilitate this? Or will it be an, an app or a website that they download? Um, describe that to me. Sure, it's a software as a, um, a software platform that will be integrated to their server we'll have a technical team available to come on site if the company needs it. However, they can, it's a cloud application that they can download. It um, will not be available in the app store. Our, I was very specific with my development team um, that I didn't want to be another app because A, people don't want another app on their phone. But I also, I started this company with the sole mission that it's a CEO's responsibility to provide mental well-being to all their employees. And so if a CEO is gonna, if it's their responsibility, then they should allow for time. And we go in saying that every CEO should allow for 15 minutes for every worker to be in the platform every day. And so if we want to force people at their desktop to be in it, it needs to be a desktop platform. So it will be web re, um, mobile reactive for all the technical geeks that understand that. Uh, I feel fancy saying that. Uh, it will be, uh, they can do stuff on their phone, but um, the goal is to make this available in the workforce and make it a normal that everybody should be in the platform every day. Awesome, we probably have time for one more question. If there's... Can I ask one? Yeah, absolutely. So is, it, are, is your target customer larger companies over 100 then or will do you see smaller companies utilizing it we we have a ton of small companies friends of mine that are ceos that all want it um, as a good b2b SaaS business owner my response that all my investors want me to say is that yes we are an enterprise software for 500 employees and over our sweet spot is between 500 and 5000 because the cost um, you know your cost value is just better that way however you know that if you're a 30 person company or a five person company there is definite value um, and so we'll figure out a way to make sure that we can provide benefits for everybody Well, thanks for the Great. questions. We appreciate it. I know you had the last slide with all that contact information, but if you could uh, put the most important contact information, the website, email address in the, in the chat box. Perfect. We can kind of have that throughout. Um, awesome. Thank you all for that.